Hello there Maverick Traders, this is Imri with Maverick Currencies and I'm here today to share with you my Elliott Wave analysis on the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. So first, a bit of history so we can talk about where we've been, where we are now and where I think we're going next. So in March of 2020, right, in line with the COVID flash crash in broader equity markets, uh, the Aussie put in a very strong bottom and rallied like crazy. I mean, we went from a low of 55 cents pretty much to a high of 80 cents. That is an absurd move in a currency pair over a relatively short period of time, just over a year. Since then, however, uh, a lot of currency traders have been questioning whether that Aussie strength is here to stay or if it's just going to fade away and the strong dollar narrative is really going to take hold. And there's no doubt that we've had a strong dollar uh, play a dominant role in currency markets for the last several months. There's no doubt about that. But I'm here today to share with you why I think, at least in the case of the Aussie, uh, that we might be getting very close to a significant reversal in trend. So from an Elliott Wave perspective, once you can count five waves, that gives you the, the direction of the larger trend. And in fact, as you can see from my labels here, I can count five waves off those March 2020 lows to the February 2021 highs. Since then, the Aussie has traded lower, but the decline has unfolded in the shape of a corrective setback. A corrective setback means that once the corrective setback is resolved, prices will go on to trade in the direction of the larger trend. So that means that if I'm right and we're on the cusp of a trend reversal here in the Aussie, we should see the Aussie go on to make new highs above 80 cents. So from current price levels of 68.78 in the Aussie, that would be a very dramatic move. From a Fibonacci standpoint, while 50% is not a Fibonacci retracement percentage itself, it is a commonly used uh, level when traders apply Fibonacci retracement levels to their price charts. And it is a level that I watch quite closely. So just because we have a 50% Fibonacci retracement is definitely not enough supporting evidence. It is, uh, or at least it's, it's not the best evidence that you can have in order to favor that a trend reversal is about to take place. In my opinion, the best evidence will always come down to how well and how cleanly you can count the, the waves that are unfolding in this corrective pattern. So this is where we're gonna drop down to a lower time frame, and I wanna draw your attention to the wedge shaped pattern that we have here, right? This is known as an ending diagonal. And as its name implies, it is the final actionary sequence in the current market cycle. All right, so an ending diagonal is going to have five waves uh, declining, right? And wave three will be shorter than wave one. Wave five will be shorter than wave three. Uh, and wave four will be shorter than wave two. And wave four, crucially, will almost always overlap with wave one. So all the conditions have been met uh, for this ending diagonal to, to really uh, complete. You know, and I can count it as being complete. And the fact that we've broken above my key level of 68.75, which is the wave four extreme of this ending diagonal, suggests to me that the reversal has already started. Furthermore, I can count five waves off uh, the recent July 14th low. So that tells me that we have now a trend in place that's in line with that larger bullish trend that kicked off in March of 2022. So what am I expecting next? Well, what I'm expecting next is very straightforward. I'm expecting a three wave setback because corrective setbacks under the wave principles methodology uh, occur in three waves typically. So I'm looking for a three wave setback in what will be wave two. The most common Fibonacci relationship for wave two is for it to retrace 61.8% of wave one. All right, so I'd be looking, you know, in baseball, you have a strike zone, right? Where if you're at bat, you're only ideally want to be swinging at pitches that come into your strike zone. It's the same thing in trading for me. So my strike zone will be between the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement levels of that rally from the J July 14th low to the recent high on July 20th, just yesterday. So that's what I'm expecting. I'm now expecting any weakness 
All right, crucially, any weakness in the Aussie, any setbacks must stay above that July 14th low of 66, 66.82 in the Aussie. If we stay above 66.82, which is this key level right here, um, then I think we can be bullish against that level and look for higher, eventually taking out that 80 cent milestone. Uh, so what does that mean for the broader global economy? What does it mean for equities? Uh, well, that's a very complicated question. You know, and, and I'm not gonna theorize, in this video at least, as to what that's gonna mean, but there are very close relationships between the Australian dollar and commodity growth, and as well as growth in, uh, in Asia Pacific, specifically China. So those are two themes you might wanna keep in mind as well, if you're also looking at a bullish Australian dollar thesis here. And that's it for me, I'll see you guys in the next video, take care, and, and always remember, we're looking for talented traders to join our ranks, and we're also looking for traders that are brand new with no experience uh, that are the right fit for the firm to come aboard as well. So if you're interested in trading professionally with one of the leading prop firms in the world, uh, please reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to talk to you and see if we're a great fit for one another. So as always, take care Mavericks. See you in the next video.